In this video, I'm going to be going through my Game Week 14 preview, my Game Week 14 team selection, and hopefully giving you some fantastic wildcard tips for you as well if you are to use your wildcard. So be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more FBL content. Now let's get into the video. So here's my team for Game Week 14, and honestly, I think this team is absolutely filthy. This team is, oh my god, there's so many potential points up for grabs with this. I'm so happy with this, but yeah, let's get into it. So we got Guaita in goal. He didn't keep a clean sheet against Everton, but you know, Southampton, hopefully it's an easier game. I'm hoping he can do something because I put my faith in this guy to be a difference maker, only 3%, and he has yet to pull for me. So let's hope he can do something in this game. Moving on to the defense, we got Zhao Cancelo. Very unfortunate to not keep a clean sheet against Brighton, but you know, ah, ah, what can you do? What can you do, honestly? But oh well, but Man City, you know, they've always got the potential. So, and the defense, we got Saliba. Honestly, I hope he's gonna pull for me yet. He, I believe in him. Nottingham Forest at home should be a very high chance of getting a clean sheet, as has Trippier. They have just sacked Steve Gerrard from Aston Villa, so he. The team is in turmoil. Hopefully they won't know what to do. And Trippier can continue what he's been doing all season long, bagging us all FPL points. We move to the midfield now, and unfortunately, I've had to take a minus four hit. Mo Salah has just gone down against Nottingham Forest, so yeah, it's very bad. But to be honest, I was looking to get rid of him anyways, because you know, he hasn't really been doing much. I mean, how do you not do anything against Nottingham Forest away, bro? Oh, uh, like, oh my god, like, that was a bad... Yeah, he's having a bad season overall, so... But, the two players I've brought in are Bukai Osaka, absolute beast. Hopefully he can do something against Nottingham Forest at home, and Phil Foden against Leicester away. Now he did get benched against Brighton, but honestly he won't be benched for long. So I feel like he is so good and so crucial to Man City's or whatever they do. And yeah, he's just gonna be amazing as usual. I expect him to be back in the starting lineup for this game against Leicester. Wilfred Zaha against Southampton, another easy game. He's gotta do more. I'm not too impressed. You know, this stretch of games from game week 10 to like, Game week 10 to the end of 2022, I expect him to do much more. He's only hit once in that time, which is well, unfortunate, but you know, what do you do? He's, he's still got potential. He's Will Saha. He's, I still believe in him, so let's see with that. And Martinelli, I mean, same reason as Saka. 9-4 is at home. Very easy game. Let's hope. Yeah, he can be amazing again. To, and play like Neymar against Nottingham Forest, so let's go. And the front three is the front three anyway, so we got, they just picked themselves, so we got Erling Holland. Oh my goodness, like, is he not the best FPL player in, like in existence? Let me know in the comments down below for those of you who've played this game for years, so like, I can't think of any other player that's been this effective in FPL since, I don't know, I've been playing this game for a while. I don't remember a player being this good. But he just, yeah, <laughs> he is, he is something else, but you know, yeah, yeah, he, he's, can, I'm not happy as a Man United fan, but in, as an FPL player, I'm very happy with him, very happy indeed. Mitrovic, let's hope that he gets another penalty and scores again, because yeah, he's, seems very effective, you know, he, since he's been back, he hasn't scored from open play which I'm hoping he's going to change very soon, but at least he's still taking penalties, so still worth having in my team. And we got Ivan Tony against Wolves, so it should be easy game as well. I forgot to say as well, since I put the t since I swapped Salah out for Saka, I've got a whopping 6 million left in the bank, which I can pretty much do anything. I'm, I can change anything in my team. I'm so happy with this. This team has hit so well and I have so much money in the bank so I can make any changes I want whenever I want so that is absolutely incredible so I'm very happy with this very happy indeed now let's get into some wildcard selections and this is a potential wildcard team that you can use in FPL and honestly it's just my team but with like four changes only we got the front three of, uh, no it's not the same front three what am I saying we got Harry King up front for Mitrovic 
honestly, Tottenham Hotspur's games, I feel like these two games are going to be easy. Liverpool, Liverpool are dead. They're a dead team. They're dead food. They, their defense is in shambles. So yeah, Harry Kane can definitely bag a ton for you with this game. And Ivan Tonic is reliable as always. We got the midfield. Look at this midfield. It's so disgusting. You got Anthony because look at these game week from game week 14 on for Man United. These game weeks are so easy. So many easy games I expect us to do much more things within a span of like these five to six game weeks so yeah a lot of points to be had with man united players if, if there's one tip i'm going to give you in this video you should get some man united players because they are definitely going to be hitting as well in the upcoming weeks so that's that we got obviously Foden, Saka, Martinelli. Saka I know he has a knock but I feel like you should be okay you know he's got some easy games as well so that's that. Defense absolutely solid not much to change here uh, like I said Man United has easy games clean sheets they're very good overall defensively apart from that Man City game but you know you know it is what it is and they'll be much better. You got Jao Cancelo, absolute boss, easy games, Man City got so many easy games and they got with De Gea in, in goal for the same reason so easy games upcoming as well so yeah that should be a very this should be a very good team for you for the next upcoming few weeks or so or at least a month or so so yeah that's that so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this again please leave a like and hit that subscribe with notifications on and leave a comment down below how well you you think i'm going to do and how well you think you're going to do the in game week 14 so yeah thank you for the support as always and until next time i'll see you in the next video